Okay, so you're working in your drawing and you notice that your X ref has gone missing or you're inserting an X ref and you notice that you can't find it. Um, let's start off with if you have an X ref in a drawing that's existing and it goes missing, what do you do? Well, what I want to start off with is adding an X ref here from a house I done in a previous lesson. Okay, here's my X ref, it's shown. Let's start running quickly through some of the ways um, that an X ref might go missing. And you always want to troubleshoot these things by ruling out as many options as you can. First things first, go to your X ref manager, right click, uh, actually just look at the icon, make sure it's not unloaded. Um, if you right click on it, I'll, I'll unload it, you'll see that uh, it's got an X next to the icon. If you see that, and if it says unloaded under status, just right click and hit reload and bring it back. That's the first thing that you want to look into. It's the simplest, but that's what we're going to do. Start with the simplest. The next thing is if it's unreferenced. What happens with with a um, file that's unreferenced is, and let me um, off screen here. I'm going to go to the location of that xref, and I'm going to move it. New folder, okay? And I'm going to move this here. All right, now. Let's reload. And this may happen when you load into your drawing. I reload and it's missing. And it's gonna say unreferenced or not found. Um, uh, but this is an unreferenced XREF saying that it's not found. The yellow triangle indicates that. This is because the XREF was either moved or deleted. In order for you to get it back, you're going to have to either update the location. So I'm gonna have to update the location or you're going to have to um, you know, bring it back to its original location um, or just detach it and reattach at the new location. So I'm gonna bring this XREF back now. Uh, cut, paste. All right, now we can refresh here that it's reloaded. Okay, so if it's unreferenced, that's what you're gonna see, um, that the XREF has basically been moved. Okay. Next, um, is it on a frozen layer? So let's say, how many layers do I have in here? Let's say I have a layer for text, okay? Put this on cyan. Say I'm working on my drawing and I've got some text. We're gonna put the text at, um, let's say 12 inches, just for now, okay? Test. All right, let's say that this xref was loaded in on the text layer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to detach. I'm going to reattach. Oh, let's, make, let's make text our active layer. Okay. I'm going to reattach. I'm going to find house. Hit OK. And you'll notice that when I select this, the layer is set to text. Even if I change my layer to zero, this layer is still text because when I brought it in, the current layer was text. Let's say I'm over here working, doing whatever, and I decide that I want to freeze the text layer because it's getting kind of crowded. You know, maybe I've got a bunch of text, you know, in various locations, and I'm like, oh, this is getting a bit crowded. I need to make some room. Let me go ahead and freeze the, the, the text layer. So I go hit text, and my xref is gone. Why these are not, oh, these are on a different layer. Let's put these on text as well. That would make sense. Sorry, I have some other list stuff going on in the background. Okay, so everything's disappeared text and the xref. That's because the xref was on the text layer. Unfreeze it and it comes back. So just check your frozen layers. Maybe unfreeze everything. Um, you can either run through all of your layers or if you've got too many, just type L-A-Y-T-H-W, which is lay thaw, layer thaw. That'll say all layers have been thawed. Uh, that'll just bring everything back. Um, and that's a great one. Actually, I actually have a, an alias for that because it's just an awesome command to have to bring everything back. Uh, best practice is make a layer for your xrefs. Doesn't matter what the color is because it's not going to affect the xref unless you have something inside that's on layer zero, but that's a different discussion. I may have gone over that in my xref video. Um, so put that on your xref layer. That way you'll know. Uh, Whenever you bring it in, just make an XREF layer, put it on that XREF layer. That way you'll know, oh, if it's missing, let me go check the status of my XREF layer. Is it frozen? Or uh, turning off doesn't really have an effect, but freezing does. So keep that in mind as well. 
Okay, so now we, we've we gone through unloading, unreferencing, and then is it on a frozen layer? Another thing that might happen is, rather than freezing the XREP, somebody may decide, oh, I want to freeze everything inside the XREP. Not a best practice, but it does happen. They might go through the XREP manager into the XREP, select all the layers, and just freeze them. And then everything's gone. Everything that was on a, on a layer that could be turned off, everything here is probably on layer zero. Um, so you may have an entire XREF missing because somebody decided to freeze everything. You can try to uh, do a lay thaw, and again, it'll bring everything back. Um, so there's that as well. Um, if you are inside of a viewport, and I'll try to do that real quickly, and somebody freezes all the layers, again, this can happen. Um, this one's not working because it's on a zero layer, but let's just say that if you do a lay thaw, it won't come back. And it won't come back because these are viewport layer frozen. So you have to go to your layer manager and you have to look and make sure you're inside the viewport. And if you look at these XREF layers, you'll see, and I think it's way over here to the side, it is, that they are viewport frozen. Okay, so you'll have to uncheck these, all right, select them all and un uh, freeze them from the viewport. So keep in mind that you have to be inside the viewport for those to show up. If you're not, I'm gonna un undo this. You can see here, if I double click outside the viewport, all these layers show up as normal because it's dependent on what viewport you're in. You may have multiple viewports. So double click inside the viewport and you'll see the status of all the layers and you can bring them all back. Oops, uh, and there they are. So, okay, that's viewports. Um, so uh, just check to see if your layers inside the, uh, the XREF, like in the, in, the, in the layer manager here, if they've all been frozen or not. Okay. Um, another one that really mostly applies to 3D in a lot of uh, instances and not really 2D, but it's possible it may have happened to you at some point, um, is whether you have a 3D clip enabled or not. So if you do a 3D clip, what it allows you to do is create a sectioning plane. Now you really can't see much here because everything is flat in 2D, but it's possible that your 2D object is outside of the clipping planes. And if I turn on this clipping plane right here, everything will disappear. Well, this is not disappearing and I don't know why. Maybe my 3D clipping is not working. There it is, okay, I had to actually exit the command. So, and there, my, my XREF is gone. Um, and that's because my uh, 3D clip has it outside the boundaries of the clipping plane. Putting them inside the boundary, it, it'll show up. But it's best to just turn the clipping planes off. So you'll type in 3D clip for your command and these last two icons, turn on the front and back clipping planes. Just close out and then it puts you in an orbit, just hit escape and your XREF will be back. All right, after that, we're in, you can see we're getting kind of um, layers of complexity here. We're starting with something really simple where it's most likely to be those reasons and kind of going towards, um, you know, reasons that it may not be, but this is what happens. Um, a lot of times I'll be trying to help somebody out, we'll go through the obvious stuff, and then it turns out to be some weird, you know, variable or situation that that, um, I, that I hadn't thought of before. So I'm trying to give you as many ways to, you know, deduce what happened to your XREF. So the next one is going to be the, the, the base coordinate. Um, every drawing has a, uh, a, a base um, variable. It's You can type ins base or base, it's the same thing. And it's the insertion point of that drawing if you XREF it into another drawing. So if I go and open up this XREF and I type base, let's go to the model. It's set at zero, 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 right? But let's say I type in, I don't know, 200 feet. Uh, let's, I didn't do that right. 200 feet, comma, 400 feet, uh, comma, uh, we'll leave it at, at, at the zero coordinate. Okay. You see it's got a base of 200, 400. What that means is from this point right here, from the origin point, it should be 200 feet to the left. And I, may, I, may, and I may have these backwards. And 400 feet down. That means that when I bring my new drawing in, it should be, it, what's gonna happen is, this origin is now getting moved down to here. So I'm actually gonna copy this line for a reference and see if that works. So we're gonna save this, we have, again, the base is set, we're gonna save the drawing. 
We're going to come over here. We're going to reload. This drawing should shoot out of existence. Gone. And there it is. And then let's see. So it went the opposite direction. It's actually 200 over and 200 up. I'll move this here and then this down to here. And there is the actual insertion point. You can see it's not giving me a grip like a block would, but this is where the insertion point of this XREF is because of that base command. In this situation, your XREF is still in the drawing, and if you do a zoom extent, you should be able to find it still. So this is rare, but it does happen if your XREF is out of whack. Check the base command of your original and just set it to 000, and then save that, and then refresh. And then there you are. All right, that's the end of base chord. The last thing doesn't really apply to people who are working in 2D. Um, it's more over 3D, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, unload this one. Oops. And I'm going to bring in a, um, do I have a 3D block? Yeah, that'll work. Something like this. Uh, this, is probably from, this is probably from another project, most likely when I was explaining 3D, but here's this 3D object, okay? Um, this is where it should show up. Um, but what happens is, if my UCS is not set to the plan view here, um, which is where my world UCS, if it's set to maybe like this, right? This is a front UCS. I can type in UCS front, it'll be the same thing. And then I go and I insert my XREF. And this only applies to insertion, not, it, it, your, your drawing won't randomly change. But if I come back here and I reinsert this, now all of a sudden it's changed locations and it looks vastly different. Okay. Um, did I even just put the right one? No, I didn't. Let me detach and reattach foundation. There we go. This is, I can get rid of foundation too. But you can see the orientation is different. The thing is, the further away these objects are from the origin, the worse this effect will be. I can at least see them here, but if your objects in plan view are hundreds of feet away, then they're just going to be completely gone when you go to reference them. So keep in mind what your UCS orientation is when you decide to insert an XREF in 3D. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, oops, let me go back. Hopefully that helps you find what happened to your UCS. There may be... Uh, I'll tell you right now, there, there may be and probably will be some other weird options for why your UCS went missing, missing. but the most common reasons are check to see if it is uh, loaded, check to see um, if it's still referenced. Did it change names? Uh, that happens too. If the name of the file changes, uh, you won't be able to find this XREF. So did the name change? Did it get moved? Did it get deleted? The actual file itself. Beyond that, um, is it on a frozen layer or is it on its own layer? Um, are the layers inside the XREF frozen? Uh, has it been 3D clipped? So that is out of a, outside of a 3D clipping plane. Um, and then check the base coordinate to see if it's moved. So start with those options. And if you, you know, can't go from there, you know, start Googling some weirder, you know, things that might be happening. Um, but that should get you started um, with troubleshooting your, your uh, missing XREF.